So now that we have seen the formal definition for matrix multiplication, we need to establish a computation-ready definition. In other words, a shortcut. So the shortcut here is the row-column rule for matrix multiplication. And now before we even get started, I want you to note that you've seen this before. The row-column rule for matrix multiplication is simply the dot product. It's the same rule that we used when multiplying a matrix by a vector. So, to get us started, what the row column rule for matrix multiplication is saying is that if the product of matrix A times matrix B is defined, then the entry in the ith row and jth column of this product is the sum of the products of the corresponding entries from the ith row of matrix A and the jth column of matrix B. So let's look at, let's define this ith jth entry of the new matrix defined by the product of A and B. So in other words, what we're doing here is taking the ith row of matrix A and we're going to multiply it by the jth column of matrix B. It's the dot product. So to get us started here, let's assume that matrix A is an M by N matrix. And we'll let B be an N by P matrix. So we can see that the number of columns in the first matrix matches the number of rows in the second matrix, letting us know that the product AB is defined. We can also see the size of this new matrix. It's going to be an M by P matrix. So, Again, we want to multiply the ith row of matrix A with the jth column of matrix B. So let's define those to get us started. Again, we have the ith row of matrix A. So we'll have to find this as A sub I, vector A sub I. This is a row vector. So its entries will be defined as the entry in the ith row first column. We have the entry in the ith row second column, and we continue all the way until we have the entry in the ith row nth column. Beautiful! So now we want to go ahead and take the jth column of matrix B, being mindful of its size. So here we have a column vector. So we have the jth column vector of matrix B. So we have the entry in the first row, jth column. We have the entry in the second row, jth column, all the way down to the entry in the nth row, jth column. And again, this is because matrix B is an n by p matrix. Now, what we're being asked to do here is to take the product of these two vectors. So we want to find the product of the ith row of matrix A with the jth column of matrix B. So we have the vector A sub I multiplied by vector B sub J. So taking what we've just defined, we have the, uh, the ith row of matrix A, and we are going to multiply this by the jth column of matrix B. And here's where the dot product comes in. We are taking the sum of the product of the corresponding terms. So we begin by taking the product of the first terms. So this is the entry in the ith row, first column of matrix A, multiplied by the entry in the first row, jth column of matrix B, plus the product of the second terms. So this is the entry in the ith row, second column of matrix A, multiplied by the entry in the first, excuse me, the second row, jth column of matrix B. Plus, and we continue adding the product of the corresponding terms all the way until we get to the last term. 
So our very last term, this will be plus the entry in the ith row, nth column of matrix A, multiplied by the entry in the nth row, jth column of matrix B. And so this is the dot product. This is the row column rule used in computation of matrix multiplication. So now that we have seen this shortcut, let's go ahead and apply it to some examples. 